Hi Libra and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for all your support on my channel, for your likes, comments, subscribes and donations. It really means a lot. And welcome if you're new. So this is the September 2021 reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Remember it's general, won't resonate with all of you. You can always check your other placements as well. So let's start with an oracle card, first of all, for Libra. Okay, so we got not for you. Some of you could be in a situation that's just not serving you. And you are thinking about your next move. So whether this is a job, a relationship, or just your life situation where you live. Some of you are quite conflicted the moment feeling a bit of chaos you could be going through an ego death notice here the bricks breaking away now it could be breaking away old habits behaviors this is like an inner ego death for some of you so maybe a situation that just no longer serves you. We've got the number six for love, so it could be a love situation. 33, master number. So I'm really feeling it, a shift definitely happening for some of you. Okay, take what resonates. Let's take some tarot as well for Libra. Wow, we got the tower, you know, which really does link with what I was just saying there. Because the tower is the same thing, you know, breaking away from situations that don't serve you. That's really the message, I feel, for this reading. Um, finding your happiness. I feel for a lot of you this is around work or... A relationship it's a contract of some sort coming to the end an awakening with the tower and it's quite interesting death came out sideways as well so it's the same thing I was saying about that ego death but for some of you it's been a gradual process so you're getting there. Um, two cards here showing healing is needed. In some of you, you may have been healing. Heartbreak coming through. I'm feeling a bit of pain in the heart chakra. So for some of you, it was quite it's quite difficult for you to leave this situation, but you know it's for your highest good. Now this could be a marriage with the Hierophant, um, but as I said before, this is like a higher level institution, so it could be a job. I feel that some of you are thinking about breaking free from a matrix job, let's say. 
that didn't serve you and as you've started to awaken you've realised your potential. Some of you could be influencers, um, you've got a very divine light, healing energy. Life lessons as well, some of you have been through. I feel you're getting to the end. Um, I keep feeling this for you Libra, there's a shift happening for a lot of you in the collective, new cycle. And we've got three major arcana there, actually, so this is quite a powerful time, yeah, for a lot of you, this shift. Um, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, energy. You might have some of those in your chart. Some of you may have found out about a third party if, you, if you're married or committed. And this really shook your world. I was feeling this in your energy, I meant to say at the beginning, that there's someone on your mind, for some of you, um, from your past. Now for some of you I'm seeing this person returning, it was the Knight of Wands, a very passionate person, um, they might have been in and out of your life, they could have been the one who caused this heartbreak in a lot of you. So past life soulmates, so some of you haven't been able to let go of this person. Now Sagittarius energy predominantly, but it could be Aries Leo. Now for some of you this makes you very happy when this happens. You may work at it. You may know this person through work. Um, it could have been a long time ago that you worked with them. And this person, I feel, really does want to put in the effort. I mean, they're still a little bit uh, flaky. And let's say, you know, the knight is not a king. But it's better than a page, I guess. Um... They may not share everything. Notice his mouth is covered. So they may not tell you everything in terms of how they're feeling. But it seems this is what they want, this Ten of Cups. That's beautiful. Wow. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. So. For a lot of you, this is a very divine connection with judgment as well. When you both awaken, you know, spiritually, which I feel you are doing, Libra, and this person as well is going through that, I feel. They're awakening to how they feel. They're visualising you and them, like this, as a family. A lot of you have always known this deep down with the High Priestess. You've just been doing you. Maybe some of you work for yourself. You're, yeah, you're doing well. Some of you have been really doing well since you've been focusing on yourself. So that's great working for yourself. Some of you are being guided to do this, if you're not already. So this person, um, yeah, could be a bit immature with their communication. 
Pisces, Scorpio energy. Let's just clarify this Knight of Wands. Six of Cups. Wow, so we got the Six of Cups again for the Knight of Wands. So this is definitely someone from your past. When the time is right, you know, Cupid's arrow hits. Um, Sagittarius energy again coming through. Now some of you may, because of this heartbreak that you may not have fully healed, you may feel some anger if this happens. Um, and you may actually tell them this. Tell them how they made you feel. So do that, with, you know, by all means, but just be wary, you know, of, of the way you do it. Try to have compassion. Imagine it were you in front of yourself, you know, that's a good way to think of it. Um, but yeah, this person is inconstant, as I felt with that Knight of Wands. So that might be what makes you angry. Don't blame you, Libra. <laughs> um, and you're going to be thinking about this a lot whether you want this a lot of you have been thinking about this person as I was sensing they've been thinking about you let's see the potential outcome in this situation for you Libra Okay, three pentacles again, so for this is a soul contract, four of wands, twin flame energy. Um, so for some of you, this could be very successful. You may work together in mission, work this out. There's a lot of passion. But I feel that something needs to end first and I feel it's this resentment and also this person needs to be honest with you. Some of you may turn your back on this though. Yeah, because we've got the tower again. So this is going to be a big shake up for a lot of you in your world. It's going to bring up lots of emotions, lots of thinking about the past, how you feel. Immature communication, as was feeling, but I feel truthful communication as well. You're going to ask for the truth. With the Empress as well. You know what you want, Libra. You've been through a lot. And you're not going to settle for anything less. Because I feel that this person may bring up some confusion within you um, because they may, may they may still be wearing a mask not be fully honest so your guidance is to talk to them just see what they want but I feel you know with this sword you're holding you want the sword of truth but you're not fully letting them in you're going to be very abundant, Libra. If you're working for yourself, if you're working for yourself already or you're thinking about this, you're going to be very successful. Very nurturing energy. Some of you are healers, writers. You could have a family. 
therapy work I'm really getting here. Um, you're being guided to share your gifts and this will just flourish. Really beautiful. So twin flames again, I'm feeling divine feminine. It seems it's up to you, Libra. <laughs> um, in terms of what they, you know, what their response is here. That I can't say, you know, because there's so many of you. Let's just see if we get anything else. Okay, so I feel this person may open up. They want success, so they're going to know this, and I feel they're going to realise that they need to do this, um, be open with you, um, share what they've been going through. They know that you're very sincere, you've always been there for them. And they appreciate that. A lot of fire coming through. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Gemini. Let's take a Romance Angel as well. Okay, very clear messages. So two here showing, love yourself first, you deserve love. So the Empress, be in that energy, knowing what you deserve and any less, you know what to do. I think Libra. And um, this is definitely a past life relationship as we got with the Six of Cups. So if you've not met them yet, you've met them in a past life. There is a lot of passion, as we got before. But just be wary, you know, of this person coming in, very passionate, that Knight of Wands. But then they go away and you think, hang on, what, what just happened there? <laughs> you know, you want the truth. So love yourself first, have boundaries in place, Libra. Really getting the initials P and L for love. Okay, let's take a spirit animal oracle as well. one as well, poking out. Okay. Wow, cat spirit, claim your independence. There we go. Links to that empress. The message we've had coming through for some of you, focus on self-love and maybe working for yourself, something to consider. Freedom is yours. You have the strength to do this. We've got 33 again. So 3333. Three, three, three. Now we had that in a reading a while back for you Libra. It's quite an auspicious number. I'm definitely seeing unions could happen with this number. Alignment for spiritual connections. Spirit has your back. Eagle spirit. 
yeah, things are happening behind the scenes. Crown chakra here being indicated. Pay attention to downloads that you receive. Be fearless and bold. So that's really coming through a lot with the horse. This is around your stability. Again, we've got the flowers. So, you know, you really could be very abundant if you're growing something, you know, business, for example, at the moment. And in love, be playful. It's interesting at the bottom of the deck, we had playfulness as well. So try not to be too serious. Have fun as well, you know, if you have this meeting. Okay, let's take a charm to finish. Wow, that's amazing. We've got the horse again. So clearly a symbol for this reading of strength, power, determination, work, focus on your mission. Stepping you know, um, into your freedom. Taking that first step, which I'm getting here with the shoe as well. Taking a first step for some of you in terms of your spiritual path, your awakening, this new beginning in whatever it is you're moving on from. It's around your stability, I feel, for a lot of you. Um, and, you know, in love, it's like take baby steps. With the one shoe, I'm feeling for some of you, it's going it alone. Um, in work, being independent. And we've got the turtle. Okay, so yeah, it may be slow, slow moving in different areas of your, of your life as you're going through this transition, but it will be worth it in the end. I'm seeing this abundance in my mind for a lot of you at the end, like treasure. Yeah, I'm really getting freedom though with the horse, you just want to break free. Okay, Libra. So I really hope you've enjoyed this reading. Please do comment if it resonates. Sending lots of love and I'll see you soon.